I got a phone call yesterday My sister called me on the phone She told me about mother She called the family So I drove My sister met me at the door. I asked my sister what was wrong with mom. She said mother called all the children in. She wanted to talk to them. So me and my sister walked in to mama's house and Walked in her bedroom, there she lay. I looked at mom and I ain't seen mother in a while and I looked at her and I just hung my head. She looked so feeble. It hurt me so bad. A few minutes Mommy raised her arms up, said, son, come here. She had tears rolling down her face. She was so happy to see me. I put my arms around her. I started to cry. I tried to hold the tears back But I couldn't hold them back Her little arms Her little frail body I said, Mom, we all here now You called all the family in started to talk to us she said children if you ever want to see me again make sure you got everything fixed up with the Lord I said mom everything's going to be alright you outlive me she said no son I'm not eat two or three days I had a long talk with Jesus last night and I told him to take care of my children I tried to brush it off I said mom you're going to be okay and she looked at all the children and said children if you ever want to see me again make sure you got everything fixed up with the Lord because where am I going sin cannot follow mom told other children to go into the other room she wanted to talk to me alone I said mom everything's going to be alright she said no son do you see this pillar that I'm laying on? I said, yes, I do. She said, I pray for you every night. And this pillar stays wet with tears. I cry out to the Lord for you. Now, son, I know what you're doing. You're hanging around the wrong crowd and drinking and doing stuff you shouldn't do. I worry about you. I said, Mom, don't worry. Everything's going to be all right. She started to cry with tears rolling down her face. She said, no, son. If you ever want to see me again, make sure you got everything fixed up with the Lord. So I went and told Mom the truth. I said, Mom, I'm sorry for having beer on my breath when I come in. 
Yes, I'm hanging around the wrong crowd. I shouldn't, I shouldn't do it, but I did. I'm doing stuff I shouldn't do. I'm drinking and partying. I didn't want to worry you anymore that you already are, but yes, I told you the truth. Something touched me after I told her that. And I said, Mom, will you pray for me one more time? And she looked at me with a smile upon her face. She said, yes, son, I'll pray with you. Me and Mom started a prayer. The prayer of God hit my mother. The Holy Ghost spoke through her. And she was speaking in other tongues. And the prayer of God hit her in that little bed. And that little bed shook under the prayer of God. I kneeled down by her bedside and I started to pray. Oh, what a feeling that come over me. The power of God was all in that room. It wasn't long after that. I got up and I told Mom. I said, Mom, I might went down with beer on my bread, but I come up to save. God saved my soul right then and there. Mom looked at me with a smile up on her face. She held him little hands up. Started to praising the Lord. My son, come home. Come home to the Lord. I sat there for just a little while and I told Mom I'm going back in the other room to tell the other children what's going on. I'll let you rest and I'll come back. See how you're doing. I went in the other room and talked to the other children and I told them what happened and they were so happy they were jumping up and down knowing that God saved my soul. And they told me everything was wrong with mom and And I told them I'm gonna go back in there and see mom before I leave and I went back in there and I seen Mom laying there with a smile upon her face. I said, Mom, are you okay? I never got a word out of Mom. I sure couldn't try to wake her up, but she's already gone. I hollered at the other children. And they come in there and hollered and screamed, said, Mom, are you okay? But she had that smile upon her face and she was looking up towards the heaven. God took mom home that day. Three days later, we took mom to the graveside. They opened the, they opened the coffin and there she laid with that smile upon her face. Knowing her son give his heart to God before she left this walk of life. Kendra, that song is for you all and, and for Pauline, and, and I hope you enjoy it. We love you out there. God bless you. And uh, uh, there's the song that Pauline liked to hear. And God bless you till the next time. We love you.